Hello dear friends, this is your personal English coach Divyam here and today I'm gonna teach you tenses. So on my screen you can see a table in which 12 tenses are mentioned. You can see that these are just the definitions, not the formula. So for the formula, I have created another table with an example word called play. Now, before we dive into tenses, you should know this. <clears throat> basics one you should know the basic English sentence structure so what is the basic English sentence structure if I take any sentence I eat noodles so I is the subject so let me write subject plus eat is the verb so verb and noodles is the object so any sentence in English will have subject verb and object now object is optional if I say I eat that even makes sense now this is the first fundamental that should be very clear in your mind second is verb forms question for you how many verb forms exist think 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 you got it right there are five verb forms but generally they talk about only three so let's take a look at all the five verb forms with an example word called go <coughs> now go is a verb as you know the base verb for go is to go the present tense of the base verb is go what is the past tense of go? It is went. What is the past participle of go? Gone. And what is the gerund of go? It is going. So these are the forms. Now the problem here is verb and verb forms. Tenses is a game of verbs. You should memorize, you should practice and you should keep on using these verb forms. So let me open word forms list for you. So uh, here we see that we have a list of verb forms. If you know the list of all the verb forms, then I think you will not face any issues in tenses so this is a very good website gingersoftware.com and they have given a list a complete list of uh, irregular verbs so as you can see base form past simple past participle so they have only talked about base form uh, or present tense past simple and past participle so my suggestion to you is just memorize all these verb forms if you want to be a master of tenses you have to learn all of these because now for example if we take the word feed the we do or the past tense is fed and the past participle is also fed now how to remember is there any logic I'm sorry there is no logic you have to read a lot of literature you have to read a lot of books newspapers that's why they say if you want to be a master of English Keep on reading stuff, listen to podcasts, watch English movies with subtitles. You have to do all these to be a master of English. So coming back to tenses, you need to remember all these. So these are called irregular verbs. Okay. So if there are irregular verb forms, there will also be a regular verb form list. Yes, there is. Now, what is the difference between regular verb forms and irregular verb forms? So in irregular verb forms, you must have seen that the spelling of the word changes but in regular verb forms the spelling of the verb usually does not change so for example if the verb is want simple past will be wanted past participle will be wanted so these are easy these are comparatively easy you will be able to memorize this very easily create created created open opened opened 
Now, if I make a sentence of irregular verbs, I can say I go to the gym. Now, how to make a past tense of this sentence? I went to the gym yesterday. The problem is gone. How or where will we use it? So we have to use a helping verb. I had gone. Isn't it? Now go and gone. You know this already. But what will you do if the verb is bind? What is V1? It is bind. What is V2? You try and search in Google. What is V3? You try and search in Google. How will you make the past tense of bind? Think and comment under my video. All right. What if the verb is watch? Watch, watched, watched. V1, V2, V3. I watch a video. I watched a video yesterday. I had watched a video a year ago this is how we use v1 v2 and v3 now having cleared these fundamentals you should jump into tenses so i've made the task a little bit easier for you how by these tables now you can learn tenses in two ways number one you can memorize the formula you can look up the verb forms and remember it or number two get a list of sentences for each forms so if you are dealing with past perfect tense get a list of all the sentences with past perfect tense so past perfect tense examples so you see this after sophie had finished her work she went to lunch i washed the floor when the painter had gone Harold had known about it for a while. So you can search for each tense form in Google, in the internet and find out a pattern. So can you find out a pattern? Yes, had plus verb, which is this verb form. So you tell me V1 is finished, V2 is finished, V3 is finished. But you see there's a helping verb. So that means this is V3. So past perfect tense the formula is had plus v3 plus object isn't it all right so let's start from present tense <coughs> or let's start from past tense if the verb is play and we are referring to an action in the past we say subject plus v2 second form of the verb played Present play and futures will play. So subject plus will shall plus v1 plus object. Perfect. Remember for perfect tenses for regular verbs, you'll see this ed in the end and you'll see has, had or have. So for past it is had obviously. For present it is, it is has or have. And for future it will be will have plus v3. So a trick to remember perfect tenses for regular verbs is number one ed is appended in the end and number two v3 third form of the verb is used continuous so continuous will have was were is am are will be or shall be plus v1 plus ing so if you're still playing if the action is still continued you say was playing or they were playing if the action is in the present tense you say i am playing they are playing he is playing and if the action is going to continue in the future you say will be playing shall be playing a trick to remember continuous tense is ing v1 plus ing so everything that has ing is continuous so if in, in your exams you're asked to convert a simple verb into continuous remember there will be ing now perfect continuous when you see this perfect continuous combination all you have to do is use the word been 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 so for past tense it will be had been obviously because had 
means past has have is present so has been playing have been playing and for future it will be will have been or shall have been playing so subject plus will or shall plus v1 sorry will or shall plus been plus v1 plus ing now this is for the formula you will be tagged as a master of tenses only when you are able to make sentence for any verb that I give so let me give you a nice verb and let me see if you are smart enough so okay let me pull up irregular irregular verb list I'll give you a demo and then you try yourself <coughs> Okay, let me grab this word become, right? Become is my verb. So if somebody asks you to make all the 12 tense forms for any verb, you should be able to. So my sentence is, I become shy during an interview. So the sentence was in present tense, all right? I become shy during an interview. So I'm gonna say all the simple forms first then all the perfect, then all the continuous, and then all the perfect. So starting with present, I become shy during an interview. I became shy in an interview yesterday. I will become shy tomorrow. Past perfect. I had become shy yesterday. I have become shy these days. I will have become shy next year past continuous I was shy now v1 for so past continuous is subject plus was word plus v1 plus ing so I was becoming shy I am becoming shy. I will be becoming shy. Perfect continuous. I had been becoming. I have been becoming. I will have been becoming shy. So likewise, if I give you any verb, you should be in a position to make a tense out of it. So for the irregular verbs, for example, break. If I ask you a question, make a perfect continuous tense for break so it will be I am breaking my anything any object I'm breaking my cycle let's say burst so v1 is burst v2 is burst v3 is burst I was bursting I am bursting and so on so this is all about tenses so you must be wondering what is this second table all about you can pause the video and take a screenshot this is also available in android app called 12 tenses so i have referred that application what a wonderful app uh, please download that app and uh, practice tenses it is known as 12 tenses please do that right now so here the way they have organized is the star indicates an action so this particular line is the current moment and the star is before the line it means that the action already happened in the past and does not extend in the present so this is how they've arranged all the tenses it's very good to remember uh, if you practice through the app then definitely you will gain more mastery but the intention for my video this video is pretty short and this is just a summary of tenses there's a lot we can do in tenses but all I wanted you to know is you should be clear with English sentence structure then verb forms which are they regular and irregular and finally the tricks for tenses all right so if it is continuous you'll see ing if it is perfect, you'll see regular verb plus ed. 
if it is perfect continuous you see bean if you have any doubts or questions or suggestions or advice for me please do comment and i will be happy to help thanks for watching and i hope you have a great day